Muck is really, it's that black, gooey, nasty smelling material in the bottom of the pond that nobody wants to touch that is made up of decaying leaves, decaying vegetation, fish waste. It's all organic based. It's all carbon based. So that's the type of material that we can help to break down with some of the natural treatments, the enzymes and bacteria. If it's sediment, then we can't break that down because it's actually a, a mineral that's washed in from a stream input or erosion on the pond or lake bank. So I think one of the things that people think of, they think they have the muck, they say, I, I have six inches of muck or I have a foot of muck. And then we talk about treatment options and they want it done in a quick fashion. So then they say, well, what about dredging? What if I just drain my pond and scrape all the material out what are what are the pros or cons to that? Uh, there, there are a number of pros and cons. Uh, probably the most significant pro is that you get rid of that muck very quickly. That's kind of where the pros end with dredging because dredging is very expensive. It's very permit intensive no matter where you're at in the country. It really impacts the aquatic life. So you have a lot of organisms that burrow into the bottom of the pond or lake and live at the bottom. You're disturbing that. You're creating a, a high sediment load that needs to be managed before you can discharge that water. So any of the dredging methods, whether it be drain the pond down and bring heavy excavating equipment in and physically remove that material or using a hydraulic dredge, which stirs the bottom material up and sucks it out and pumps it to filter bags. They're both very, very invasive and very, very expensive. So if we can avoid that by using the natural enzymes and bacteria in muck remover, then we both save cost um, it's a, it's a long-term management tool that should be used on a regular basis so you don't ever have that accumulation and it just doesn't have the negative impact on the aquatic life. You mentioned muck remover. Muck remover is a pelletized bacteria treatment that is used to consume that bottom waste. It's bacteria and enzymes and you measure it out based on your pond size, you can either target treat just the shorelines or you can treat the entire pond, but we do recommend aeration if you're treating in those deeper areas. The muck remover is going to consume that waste that's at the bottom. And you, it's, you, it's not a one treatment and done. You can't just throw the pellets in. Um, hope to see results next week and your muck is gone. It's going to be a full season of treatment to see those results, but it's it's a great way to do it without messing with the, the habitat of the pond, the balance of the pond. And, and one of the questions that we often get is, if I use muck remover, is it, is it going to reduce my weeds? And it's a little bit more of a complex answer than you would think at face value because while you're not going to eliminate the weeds with the muck remover pellet, there's nothing chemical, there's no kind of herbicide in the muck remover pellet. What, what you're doing is you're taking away the nutrient source for those weeds. So over time, you're eliminating the, the bed for those weeds to grow in. So you may need to do an aquatic herbicide treatment initially to remove those weeds. But then if we're taking away that, in essence, soil, from those weeds and the high nutrients from those weeds, there is a lower likelihood that they're going to recur or that they're going to be as bad. There's always a lot of questions regarding how to use the product and what to expect. Um, I know one thing that is one of our most common is how precise do I have to be with the treatment? Because, you know, they're, they're a pellet the size of about a dime and they see that I have two scoops to treat a quarter acre and that's not a lot of pellets. It's about 150 pellets, give or take, mm -hmm. and I've got this large area. How precise? So it's a great question and you really don't need to be that precise. You just broadcast them over the area that you want to treat because as with all of our beneficial bacterias, this product's going to multiply. So 
you know, bacteria don't swim, but they do move with the current. So as long as there's any kind of motion along the bottom, wave action, or if we have an aeration system, we know that the water's moving. The, the bacteria are, are multiplying and doubling their population sometimes in as little as an hour. So once those pellets are in and they start to dissolve, those bacteria are moving out and away from the pellets and they're going to work on the muck all along the bottom. So it, it's not something where you have to be very precise at all with the application. Is this something that is going to harm anything in the pond then? No, um, it's, it's completely natural and it's completely benign to turtles, fish, the other bacteria in the pond, any of the crustaceans and any other organisms that are in there. Um, it's, it's a completely safe product. It's safe for even pets. So uh, pets, livestock, livestock can continue to use the pond or lake for a water source even after it's been treated with muck remover. One of the biggest questions and mysteries is where does the muck go? So the bacteria are actually pretty amazing in the way that they work and the enzymes are as well. When there is carbon-based fibrous material in there. So think of leaf stems and leaf matter and things like that. The enzymes actually break that down into a form that the bacteria can then digest. And the bacteria digest that and release it as gas. So they're separating the carbon from the other components and releasing that as gas. And they're also releasing some nitrogen gas as well. I'm throwing the pellets in they're dropping down to the bottom. So does the bacteria stay at the bottom then? Is that? So the bacteria doesn't really stay at the bottom. The majority of it does just because that's where it's ended up. And as we talk about, there isn't a lot of movement of bacteria unless there are currents associated with it. But the circulation in the pond will move some of the bacteria to other portions of the pond. We have had clients report that they've had water that's more clear after they've used muck remover, but it's certainly not the tool to use if you're treating the entire water column. There are other products such as Pond Cleanse, which is a water soluble packet that has bacteria that are targeted towards nutrients in the water column rather than towards the nutrients and muck. When you're using the muck remover and say you're using it just as a standalone treatment for a pond, what are those things that you would say besides the obvious of getting rid of the muck itself, what are some of those benefits that that's going to provide for your pond? And, and again, it's one of those things that is very individual, but there are some broad generalizations that we can make as well. And as we use up those nutrients, as we take that muck out of play for the pond, you can see improvements in dissolved oxygen. You'll likely see fewer algae blooms. And, and again, that's a, a combination of both nitrogen and phosphate. So the muck remover is handling the nitrogen side of that equation. And we have some other very safe ways to handle the phosphate side and phosphate's often limiting when it comes to algae. So uh, it, you're gonna see some reduction in algae, probably improved water quality, if not because of the decreased nutrients, because the muck is actually being converted into a, a more dense material that's more firm, so it's less prone to being stirred up and, and clouding the water. Okay. So in particular, if you use it in a dock or beach area, the, the ground's going to become more firm. Uh, little Susie isn't gonna step off the dock and go into her knee in muck because it's more solid and, and it's okay. been digested away. And the, the, the black organic muck that we see, when wildlife or kids or adults wander into the pond or dogs, dogs are notorious for this, go into a, a mucky area of the pond or lake, it's very soft and fluffy. So they have a tendency to get in deep. And you know, as a dog owner, it's not fun when your dog is covered in black stinky muck to try to have to wash them off. 
And I think I think that's one thing that I often tell customers is one of the first things that you can see that there's a difference you or know that there's a difference. It's not that you actually are seeing that reduction of the muck, but you're you're feeling that difference because the ground is is starting to firm up more. And, and our crews, when they go out to measure muck in a pond or lake, will actually use a probe and, and, and probe the muck and they can feel that soft layer and then they can feel the hard pond bottom. Mm -hmm. Once we've started to treat with muck remover, it's much more difficult for them to feel a difference there because it's all much more solid. And, and one thing we didn't touch on, but there are clients that have issues with leeches in their pond. And they ask, how can I manage the leeches? And there's not a lot of great options out there for managing leeches, but leeches love the muck. And so if we can get that muck out of there, that's a really nice added bonus that is actually, in essence, leech, leech control.